Hi, I'm Kelly McCarty. I did my placement here at the Child Care Center at SUNY Cortland. I am a teacher here in the toddler classroom. I have 10 kids from the age of 18 months until three years old. And then they move up to uh, another classroom or the three-year-old classroom once they get old enough. Um, here in the classroom, there are cubbies for them to put their belongings. There is, everything is their size. So there's chairs their size. Um, even in the bathrooms, there is three toilets and three sinks that are like miniature. <laughs> um, sorry, the classroom next door, there's some sad children right now. <laughs> Um, all my kids are sleeping right now, so I have time to record this for you guys to see. Um, we have a rug area where there's blocks for them to build stuff and animals and other little toys that they can play with around the classroom. There's a dramatic play area right now. We have, in the dramatic play area, we have, um, Doctors and vets, um, with COVID going on, everybody is going to the doctors more often, and the really, kids are really interested in um, all those toys uh, to play with and stuff. So I ordered them online off of Amazon and brought them into our classroom, and they're really enjoying taking care of each other and taking care of myself. Um, they love to put Band-Aids on and give you shots and... Well, I try to stay away from the COVID tests, so, <laughs> so they're not sticking anything up their noses. Um, we also have, let's see, we also have a sensory bin. Um, I change it every week. Right now, they're sanding it with uh, sea animals in it, and the kids love to explore in there. We do water play in there. We wash babies. We and During Easter, I put... Easter grass in there with eggs so they can put the Easter grass in the eggs and experience that way. Um, St. Pra or St. Patty's Day. Whoops. Um, we did gold coins and a bunch of green stuff in there so they can learn the color green. We worked on the color green all week. Um, we changed every week. We changed the theme of our room. Um, for like Mother's Day, we did flowers and butterflies, and then we had to get back in the routine of things when they came back because they were all quarantined around Mother's Day. So they came back and they, we had to learn our school rules again, of course, and learn how to share with friends. So we did a lot of practice with uh, painting with the same paint thing so they can all work together sharing at, at the table and painting with their friends. Um, there is a outdoor area. Each day is different. There's a climber that they can go on and it has wood chips around like a playground where they have a slide and climbing stuff and they have a yard to play in. Um, they love to play with the hula hoops and bikes out there. Um, there's a sand area where they have little houses they can go into. And they have a sand area where during the summertime when it's warm out we can fill it up with water and they get to play in the sand with water and stuff and you pretend you're at the beach. Um, and then there's a patio where they can ride bikes and draw with car or draw, uh, draw with chalk. Um, the kids really love to draw what their favorite food is or some animals that they love. The kids really enjoy dancing in the classroom on rainy days. There's also a motor room outside of our classroom. We take turns with another classroom. And there is climbers out there, soft toys to play with. We also brought bikes in there and scooters and bouncy balls and a whole bunch of other things that they can explore throughout the day. Um, we keep them very busy. We do an art project every day. So today we just painted with watercolors um, so they can practice on holding the pencil, or not pencil, but paintbrush. And... They really enjoyed that. Um, right now they're all taking a nap and they'll sleep for about two hours. Uh, they go around, go to bed around one o'clock and they sleep until three. Then we get up and eat snack and their parents come and pick them up. Uh, we try to communicate with the parents with, we have an app on our 
little tablet and we write with the parents through that uh, if they have any questions or if they need stuff or if they just want to communicate with us as is through that we write a letter out to them every week and tell them what we're working on for this week and what we're going to work on next week so they can get their kids ready at home too and not just here at school um, the kids really enjoy this uh, classroom with all the colors and different things that they can do uh, a lot of our practices we base it off what the kids are interested in of that week um, if they're really into horses and stuff like that we try to expand it and do barn or other things that you see horses with um, so the barn we fences we'll build fences throughout with the blocks that we have or I'll go get fences and we build them and stuff like that we'll feed them and wash them and learn how to take care of them um, right now they're really into Doctors, like I said earlier, they really like to take care of the doctors right now and take care of each other with the band-aids and shots and stuff. Um, but overall, the, the center is very convenient to all the kids. They can start out um, in the toddler or the baby room, and they are there from six weeks until 18 months, and then they come up to the toddler room where they are now, and they're here from 18 months until three years old, and then they go to the one of the preschool rooms, which is just three-year-olds, and then they move up to 